Hi, this is John Morgan with the latest video tip for 2020 design. This is uh, something I, I found online. This is actually uh, Jared Urshida was showing this about how important it is in small kitchens to be able to have items have more than one purpose in your room. So I'm going to show you how I would build something like this and put stools around it just like uh, Jared did here. So let's come back into our drawing and let's move back over and you'll notice in this room that I have a little island in here. I have a good walkthrough space here, but I really don't have a lot of storage. So putting just a base cabinet in here where we could store things is awesome, and it sets up a center where we can both prep food and eat too, because there's not a lot of space for a table. So typically, when I place countertops, I use the countertop wizard. And the reason is, when I use countertop wizard, I'm actually using real companies' catalog. Now, this is one exception. If I wanted to place a countertop right here, I would actually click on this button here. I would scroll down to a catalog called Roomtop. Roomtop is a generic countertop program. I can go to Roomtop. There's a feature here that says countertops. I always choose a square foot top, and here's why. When I drag and drop a square foot top, it never puts seams in or gives me the hatch marks telling me a piece is too big or such. I have the flexibility to do anything I want to this. I will right click on the countertop. I will then edit shape. And here's another trick. A lot of people when they move these lines, they right click and they choose add line. If you choose add line, it actually leaves the original point there and you have to go back and delete those sometimes as you modify the countertop. If I just left click on that line, I can move and extend it. I can say extend 12 inches, enter. I can left click on this line and move that one 8 inches. I just typed in 8. Now I can go to my right hand button. I can say right click on this point. I'd like to radius this corner. I'd like to radius it 8 inches. And I'd like to take this point over here and make sure, always make sure you get the point because if you're radiusing a line, that's something completely different. All right, there we go. I was clicking in the wrong spot. We'll make that an 8 inch radius. And when I come back out of here, you'll see that I've modified this countertop. I can actually go over to my cloud catalog again and choose a different manufacturer. Let's go back to 2020 and choose um, something like uh, chairs and stools. I'll scroll down and we'll grab a stool. Let's just grab the, this one right here. It has a small footprint. Let me go ahead and hit add. There we go. We can move this stool and have it face any direction that we want. And I'm going to duplicate it. I'll say duplicate. I will right click and duplicate again. And I'll simply drag these into place. So let's uh, zoom into this room, and I'm just going to tilt down a little bit here. And you'll see that I've placed that countertop. Now, obviously, that's not a real pretty countertop. I haven't put the other countertops in. If I wanted to change that countertop, all I need to do to change that countertop is right-click on it, highlight it, go to its attributes, go into variables again. I'll click on this. I'll simply come over here and say, let's just put stone on this. And then if we take a look at this again, you'll see that I have a more realistic countertop in there too. For other great ideas, please join the 2020 community at www.2020spaces.com forward slash community.